Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Swipe Play Story with Brawl. Today we're going to be jumping right back into a ranked match here. Seeing what hero we get. Last time we got Geppetto and we went for a creature summoning deck. That went okay. That went pretty well actually. We, uh, we finished third. Lost with some big angry dwarf deck uh, with an Echo Wood in the back. But um, overall I was pretty happy with it. I would not mind trying to get a spells deck this game. Um, but for that, we are going to need uh, either Potion Master or Peter Pan or Merlin. So we'll see what hero we get off of this. And hopefully we can give that a shot. Otherwise, it's probably just going to be a toss-up for whatever hero we get. But we'll see what it is. We'll see what it is here. Or Dragon Puffy. I just grab the horde dragon. Might just grab the horde dragon. I already played a game with Puffy. So I kinda wanna try something different. Puffy might actually be better, but we're gonna grab the horde dragon here. Okay, so horde dragon, our goal is just gonna be grabbing as many treasures as we can. Um they'll all be one level higher, so. We should be able to get some decent ones here. We might be going for something like a princess, a uh, prince and princess build. Might be going for something like a, um, a treant build. There's some good high level treants. Might be going for a dwarf build. I'm gonna grab crafty here right out of the gate. It at least gives us something to attack with and hopefully trade with. Although Loki, turn one, typically sucks. They probably have something better than a 2-2, or maybe even two characters. So, you know, that's okay. Losing turn one, not the end of the world. Alright, Loki does have two. Well, if we'd attacked this guy first, we would have at least traded, but that's okay. I'm going to grab the princess here and just roll. Blind, blind mice is actually really good for us here. Three blind mice. I'll lock this in so we can buy, buy the blind mice. And then I might buy the happy little treants as well. It's either going to be that or roll and try and buy something. But I think the blind mice and the happy little treant uh, leaves us options here to either go with Royals, Prince and Princesses, or go with the Blind Mice, or excuse me, the Treants later in the game. Alright, so we win. That's why the Sherwood Shot is great early game. Um, we'll go like this and roll. There's another Crafty. I don't think I want to lock him in, but Crafty wouldn't be the worst to pick up again. Uh, assuming we can get some treasures here soon. But yeah, so Crafty gets plus two, plus two for each treasure. So if it's, uh, I want to say Evolve, but it's not Pokemon. If this is uh, tripled, then we get plus four, plus four from each treasure, which if we can get up to three treasures, we'll give us plus 12, plus 12. So early game, he can be pretty good if you can get all the treasures you need. Otherwise, we're just kind of looking for guys to triple. Alright, so we probably lose this here. Yep, that's fine. Again, we're kind of sacrificing our early game to try and get some early triples, which would be nice. Two of these guys, they're not particularly good, nor do they really help us, but having two of them there is nice. Or we could do this. I'll take that and use this to give everybody a golf plus one plus one. Okay. So now we've got two doubles on the board. That's good. Uh, that will at least give us the ability to hopefully get some triples here. And we're still in a good spot for trying to find treants in the later levels or princes and princesses here earlier, depending on what treasure. If we get the treasure that says uh, Prince and Princesses only need two cards to upgrade, two copies to upgrade, then we'll probably end up going Prince and Princesses. If not, 
then likely we'll end up with treants, trying to get some of the higher end treasures uh, to hopefully skew the game in our favor later. All right, Krampus. So we can probably lose this one also, but well, yeah, we definitely lose this, but that's okay. Again, sacrificing the early game, so that's okay. Plus one experience, none of these are great. There's another princess, but I think we really just want to triple here. Well, maybe we want the tree in it now. And then I can just give somebody. Well, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll here. Just keep rolling, looking for things that we can use. Okay, that's something. That's something. That's good. We'll at least get a treasure out of it, which will at least buff crafty. It'll be a level three treasure, so nothing too crazy right out of the gate, but that's okay. We really want some blind mice here to get a level five treasure. Um, and then we can try and at that point just survive to level five or level six to get some of the higher end treasures. So having the uh, Darkwood Creeper here is gonna be nice because as our little baby tree ends grow, they will be able to uh, gain attack as well. Okay. So we definitely lose this also. That's all right. Good. Okay. Well, this actually turned out quite well. I didn't think we were going to win that. We were lucky that they attacked our, uh, our Darkwood Creeper first. All right, let's get a treasure and see what we get. Range characters, sure. That's something. Happy little treant. There's another triple. That's good. Crystal ball, huh? Maybe we want crystal ball. No, we want to go with... This will give us a plus three to our treasure level. So if we can um, triple one of our level threes, that'll make us... That'll put us in a pretty good spot here. So let's look for level threes that we want. I'm definitely going to grab this to deal one damage to everything. That'll give everything plus one attack. Yeah, nothing here really piques my interest, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And the good news is we actually get access to level four characters next turn. So if we can triple a level four really quickly, that'll actually just give us a level seven treasure with the treasure map and our poor dragon ability. And our level seven treasures, that's where we want to be. That's where we want to be. So again, we're okay sacrificing some early game success to pop off late game. Nice. Okay. All right, good. We're surviving. We're surviving. Okay. Take minimal damage, that's good. There's level four. I'm gonna use this free roll here to find a level four character, I think. Well, that didn't work. So it looks like we're rolling for one. Uh, maybe we just grab Greedy? Ah, uh, this is tough. I'm gonna keep rolling, I'm gonna keep rolling. That's not a terrible level four character to have. Neither is Lightning Dragon. Yeah, I'm going to pick up the Gingerbread Knight, I think, and then use our last two bucks to roll. Could have had two of them. That's okay. Yeah, I, I really think I want to go Treants here late game because there's just so many late game big Treants that will let us um, get good, really good treasures in the late game. But we just have to make sure that we can get there. Because we're down to 23 health already. So the good news is if we lose 
uh, Gingerbread Knight will go to a 1414, but we really, really kind of want to stay above 20 health this game if we can. Yeah, the, not getting the, the three blind mice early in the game is definitely a tough way to lose out on a good treasure early. But that's okay. Alright, so we lose, but that's alright. We take some damage. We are unfortunately below the 20. There's the three blind mice. This gives us a level 4 treasure, which would give us a level 5 treasure, which would give us a level 7 treasure, so that's at least some way to do that. And then we could buy the Soltak Ancient here. I'm going to do that and roll. We really want another Blind Mice, but I'm going to give everything some extra attack. Uh, we are unfortunately up against Loki here, so that sucks a bit, but what are you going to do? We'll go like that. I think this gives us the best chance for success. Um, hopefully the Soltak Ancient can continue to grow his attack and become big and strong. I mean, you know, I think we're on par with most of our opponents for this, uh, this stage of the game. Loki, don't know what he has, but uh, he appears to be popping off pretty hard. So, we might take some, some heat this game. But hopefully we'll be okay moving forward. Alright. This will be a close one. This will be a close one for sure. This whole game. But we really just need to get a level 4 or greater trip. This doesn't look that bad. We might be okay. We might be okay. The ranged attacks definitely hurt. But I, yeah, we win. We win. Nice. Okay. Good. Good. So we were definitely on par here with Loki. Alright, so now we're just only looking for level 4 treasure. Um, do I spend the two mana to just almost guarantee a win this game? I think I do. There's a level four treasure. So this will give us a level seven treasure. Excalibur, all shops, all characters in your shop are upgraded. All characters count as all types. Your characters have plus seven, plus seven. So we're getting first place. Um, I go with the up. Uh, well, no, because we want treasures, don't we? This is a tough one. Maybe we go with characters count as all types, and then we're just looking for ways to buff characters. I think this is the safe play. I think this is the safe play here. This is just grab Excalibur. That does sort of hurt us for this late game, but that's okay. And then I'm actually going to grab this King Arthur and slap him down in the three blind mice spot. That way, at least the Sherwood Church shot is going to be getting plus four, plus four, as well as King Arthur. So we're at least starting to get some buffs out of this. Okay. This is pretty good. This puts us in a pretty good spot. Now we're up to level 6. So pretty much anything we buy here is going to be, I think, pretty scary for our opponents. Ooh, we could grab... Uh, I mean, okay, there's another King Arthur, that's good. Let's replace Crafty with King Arthur. We might just be going for a Prince of Princess build after all, since we can't get any more treasures. 
I'm going to sell Crafty and grab Lancelot, because that'll actually give us a level 6 treasure. Uh, who do we want to replace? Probably the Soltak Ancient, something like that. And then do I, I think I want to lock this in for the Gingerbread Knight. I'm going to put him up first, too, so he'll actually get plus 8, plus 8, and guarantee himself to deal, to be a, a 25 attacker health during this brawl anyway. So this is good. We'll be able to replace our Gingerbread Knight with an upgraded one next turn. I mean, things are starting to look up, to be honest. Things are starting to look up. Not World Tree, I think. Yeah. I think having our uh, having our characters here at a high enough uh, level being upgraded is going to be really important for us. So we'll, we'll barely win this game, but I think we're okay moving forward. Lancelot upgrade that does give us level six treasure. I mean, maybe just keep buffing guys from our shop. It's either that or the Phoenix Feather. We're not a spell deck, so it's definitely not Wand of Weirding. I think I'm just going to pick up I think I'm just going to pick up the Embiggening Stone. And then we'll definitely want the King Arthur here. And we'll definitely want the Gingerbread Knight. So now all of our Royals are getting plus 12, plus 12 every turn. I mean, I don't hate that. And then I think we're just going to be rolling for other royals at this point. There's another King Arthur. I'm going to lock him in. If we can grab this last King Arthur to replace our happy little tree ant with, then we'll be able to give everything plus 12, plus 12 every turn. And we'll start getting really big characters. Yeah, this feels pretty good. This feels pretty good. I think we actually have a chance to win this one. Uh, let's... doesn't matter who we sell. Let's go ahead and grab King Arthur to replace the Happy Little Treant. And then I think we're just rolling for anything reasonable. We might as well take that. So, more King Arthurs are always good. Honestly, another Lancelot wouldn't be terrible. That would at least give us another treasure, a way to replace this... Uh, this treasure down here. I think other than that, we're pretty set. There's a King Arthur. Do I want him? I don't think he's actually that helpful at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the Happy Treants. Roll again. Yeah, so I think we're just looking for King Arthur. I think we're looking for Lancelot. Would probably be really good for us. Just because it would give us access to replacing the Telltale Quiver. But getting that level 7 treasure so early was definitely helpful. Oh, Loki, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, yeah, this feels like we 
made the right decision so far. So now we're just basically permanently buffing guys. Alright, I think I'm effectively only looking for Lancelot. Maybe, uh, is it Hercules, the one that deals 100 damage to upgrade? So I'm pretty happy. We don't have any other slay effects. Oh, we do. So we could grab Jorm again. <laughs> that would be so dumb. I'm not going to do that. There's Hercules. I think I want to grab Hercules, at least to have on our bench. Or in our hand. Because in two games, he would upgrade or just two attacks. Maybe we replace, we take the 6-6. Six, six, loss and just replace our gingerbread knight because we don't want to replace Lancelot because he can get bigger with slay so I'm going to go like that and this would basically give us another level 7 treasure if we don't win the game this turn so big. Alright. Let's see. Okay, Hercules does upgrade. We might just win. Right. The gate. Yep. Okay. Wow. Level 7 treasures for the win, huh? Given everything plus 16, plus 16. I do not hate that at all. Alrighty, well thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode of Swice Plays Storybook Brawl.